four, three, two, one. Welcome everybody to another episode of Fresh Talks. Is your host Fresh Philly, and I got a guest today. My boy Nesto. What's good? What's good, Jimmy? Appreciate you for being the first guest. Man, let's get into it. <laughs> Go and use my slogan. Let's get into it. <laughs> um, basically, let's start off like, what got you into shoes? What was your first shoe memory? Like your first memory with shoes? Bro, first memory. Uh, it was a holiday. Can't remember which holiday, but I got some bread Elevens. Mm, okay. Definitely. What What was uh? Do you remember how old you were though? If anything? 12, 13. Damn. Yeah, it was young. You started young. Mm -hmm. See, because, uh, like, I tell everybody, like, uh, I started basically my sophomore year, which was, I was 15. Mm -hmm. No, I was becoming a sophomore. Yeah, I was becoming a sophomore, so uh, I was 15. Models. You remember mm -hmm. um, the models and Aaron Mingo? Yeah, the yeah, The corner yeah, next yeah. to IHOP and whatnot. So, like, as you can see in the back, these right here, mm -hmm. uh, Nike Air Revolutions, uh, 60 bucks. Those aren't the original pants, <laughs> cause um, so what was it? Uh, I was a size, I was a size nine and a half, but I try to go for a size ten and a half, thinking my ass, uh, my feet will grow. grow. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't grow, which bro. Which is smart. Which is smart. <laughs> <laughs> smart. <laughs> my, I got a little bit taller, but that's about it. My feet stayed the same. Speaking of that, I, I blew up, bro. Like I, I went from like being a size ten to like uh -huh. a size twelve over the summer, bro. Size. And what, how old were you? Do you remember? Uh, 16, 17. Oh, your parents must have hated your ass. <laughs> Probably, bro. God, I jumped into size, like, immediately. Bro, it, it, like, I remember because I would start off, I remember I was nine and a half, starting mm -hmm. freshman year, right? And I would get a 10 on purpose, mm -hmm. thinking, like, okay, I just, you know, save some snug, money. Yeah. Being, like, having in with your parents, we both understand, like, yo, we got to try mm -hmm. to save money. Reality, we were wasting money in a sense. <laughs> Well, at least I, I was to my mom. <laughs> nah, I feel that because I remember, like, telling my mom, I was like, yo, can I get some Jordans? Uh -huh. And she was like, you don't have to wait till your birthday. See, at least your mom was able to do something like that. You know what I mean? My mom, yeah. uh, it has to be uh, Nike outlets, right? And mm -hmm. I had, I always had to have a cousin, like an older cousin, to, like, persuade my mom. Because, you know, they're older, so she thinks, like, they're telling the truth while my, my young ass is, like, lying to her and shit. So... How I got away with it, honestly, was um, I remember being in elementary school. My mom bought me some shacks, some all black shacks. See, you got shacks. I got payless. That's basically payless, bro. Cause Shaq wasn't. Yeah, payless. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, right. Shaq, Shaq wasn't, wasn't payless. payless. You're right. So I got I'm, some shacks. I'm thinking um Reebok Shaq. That's why. No, no, no. This is after he yeah. left Reebok and shit. No, yeah. no. This is like Shaq when it's his brand. Um, I got a pair of sneakers, bro, and I think they only lasted like three weeks on my feet, bro. They got like cut up like trash because the quality was so trash so like i was telling my mom I was like look i understand we saving bread but like quality is yeah. trash versus if i get like a hundred dollar pair of jordans mm -hmm. they'll last me like two and a half years mm -hmm. depending nah man because uh like granted Sha what Shaq has done for like the the inner city fact it helps a lot you know Fact. what i mean because think about it you're, you're he's still at walmart and yeah, he, he's he's a top seller too, actually, yo. Dude, granted, it's like like that they copy colorways, but at the same time, it's like you're you're able to make something affordable for the kids, for anyone that's less fortunate. But did you hear why he they copy the colorways? Because he's actually under like. Oh yeah, Nike. something about so, that. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. about yeah. I remember hearing like an interview about that. It was on a uh, complex. He talked about it. Yeah, with, yeah, like, yeah. Puma and shit. Um, but what uh, what shoe would you say is like your biggest grail? Biggest grail. I would probably say them Dior ones. Dior. I, I want them Damn Dior it. ones, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, those Dior ones, if if I was able to get it for retail, or if I knew it was gonna blow up, like, in like double. Like it was supposed to, yeah. Because it didn't, you know, it was going for, like, two grand or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then it flopped up to, like, not flop, but it went up to, like, four to five, maybe. Bro, they and then doubled and tripled. I would say, yeah, it's up to, like, 10 Gs now. Exactly. Like, I would have just bought it for that and sold it for eight. That's 3K come up, like, you exactly, know I mean? but man, there, Wait, was, the, there was a rumor the the Chicago colorway Dior's was supposed to come out. That, no, I, I seen that it was on. Um, it was yeah, a, this was like a few, like a year or two, three, yeah. like something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that I know what you're talking about. I seen that post, and it was uh, so that they're known sometimes to do a different concept of shoes. Mm -hmm. So there was like uh, 
at, back then they they won't they wouldn't say it, but now they do on their IG post, right? They'll say uh, uh, this is a concept shoe. Mm-hmm. So it'll be like okay, just to make sure that like, you guys don't get your hopes, hopes up and shit. Up, yeah, yeah. And I was like, dude, the red one, the red yours, it is dope. Yeah, it's some it's spicy. Very I spicy. Like <laughs> I like the like I said. I know you yeah, the yeah, color yeah, your favorite color is red. Colorway, and then that. Nike check with the Dior in yeah. there, something, something uh, about it I like. Which one? Oh, I forgot to start off with all these questions, before all these questions. What did you have on feet today? Today, at work, I had the Adidas, which we call it, the, what is it, the EMPs, DMPs, whatever. The NXT? EXT or whatever? Something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah EXT. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, they're comfortable, E-X-T. bro. Yeah. They're comfortable for work. I had those on. And then coming over here being your guest, I had some retro nines on my feet. Uh, the University Blues. Fun fact in my eyes, the only retro nine I like is the Olives. Mm. I I do want the one you have, mm-hmm. but that's like the like the least like the last on my list that I will care about. The Olives were always like the only color that that fit yeah, because, mm-hmm. well, not fit me, but more so like just the look of of the shoe, mm-hmm. the shoe structure of it basically being a boot and the fact that. You know, that's the year that when MJ went to play baseball. We all know why, quote unquote, <laughs> he played baseball. You know what I mean? Just let y'all know, this motherfucker over here is an MJ GOAT fan over here. Of course, why would I, bro? 6-0, that's all I'm saying. Oh, I'm a LeBron GOAT fan over here. Six so the nine. fact that we are friends... <laughs> says a lot. It does. But, you know, all jokes aside, like, MJ, I, I do give MJ his credits. You know what I mean? I give LeBron his, his, his love. No. Don't, don't. I give him his love. I, I'm not going to say I'll dab him up, but I'll give but, him his love. But you know, every time we, we talk trash about it, don't I keep calling him MJ a bald, bald ass bitch. He's only good for his shoes. Because I saw MJ as the per- like Mind you, I, went, I, I became a fan in basketball very late. You know what I mean? I started when uh, Sixers went to the finals against Kobe and Shaq. That's when oh, I first. Started, uh, yeah, yeah, I started yeah. late. I was like in third grade already. You know what I mean? And AI was the reason why I like basketball. So like, I would follow AI, and then like, okay, his shoes were Reebok. I used to call it Reebok. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to pronounce it. I used to call it Reebok. Oh, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. That's I think that's the same reason why I started liking basketball because of AI, bro. Oh, and yeah. then from AI seeing Kobe, that's where I also was just like, I'm gonna mm. follow Kobe a lot. And I think um, I don't have a team, uh-huh. but I do like certain players. Yeah. So I want like I'm Sixers team by default, being you know both of us being raised in uh, Philadelphia, but uh, that's only like Eagles of course and Sixers. But yo ass likes the Steelers, you know, and it's okay. Pittsburgh. We're still friends. Pittsburgh. You know what I mean? We're still he, he's a Pittsburgh fan. You know his his story that he told me is very. It's, actually, no, go ahead. Tell your story real fast about uh. Let's go off, yeah, go yeah, off, yeah, top, off a top a little bit. So uh, Pittsburgh, I was. I can't remember the age, but it was like the first like football game I actually watched by myself on the couch. Uh-huh. It was a Pittsburgh game, and I just remember, boy, Troy Polamalu. <laughs> bad Long, boy. luxurious hair. Bad boy. And they won that game. I was like, bet. That convinced me enough to just be a Steelers fan, bro, and ever since. This is going to be a, a question I need to ask. Do you think Polamalu, without his hair, will even be remotely the way he is? Locked in into like the football history, like you know, because he was so no uh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like his popularity, you think it would have been the same, or it or it helped a little bit. I want to say it helped a little bit because this boy's playing style was crazy off. He the was reckless. Rip, he was fun. Remember, he, he was doing like jumping over the line mm-hmm. on the snap count, like mm-hmm. crazy, crazy interceptions. Um, what else? Boy could hit. He was fast. The the only thing, like. I compare him to Dawkins when it comes to energy. Of course, it's not as hyped up as Dawkins. Yeah, he's Dawkins not, he's like quiet. He's probably like chugging, <laughs> chugging. Da- Dawkins chugging, was a bad chugging boy, off. but uh, chugging energy drinks and shit. What was it? I think I was watching like some NFL type of films. Uh-huh. Uh, Dawkins was in a whole different like animal on the field. Bro, he was talking to himself. Troy, Troy, on the other hand. He like murder you playing, but he was always quiet. You'll yeah. never hear him talking trash. He was, he was respectful on the it field. Was, yeah, he loved the game. Yeah, uh, that's what I can say. He loved the game. He was like, yeah, I'm gonna just hit you and walk away. Mm-hmm. But uh, since you're a Steelers fan, right? I know possibly Thunder Fours are coming back out, which is uh, black and uh, black and yellow, yeah. which is I know is a Steelers uh, Steelers fan, bro. Color. I love these, bro. 
I know there's supposed to be rumors to summertime next year. Next year, yeah, yeah I'm definitely needing. But it's more a uh, more a bigger family size run. So there's like infants, uh, toddlers, uh, toddlers, and, and then there's uh, boy sizes and men sizes. You know what I mean? So a full size run for family. My um, I I want another pair. You know what I mean? But you can see like how I walked in them a certain way. I try my best not to lose it. Awesome. <laughs> Fun fact, y'all. I used to wear a size. I, I'm a nine and a half. I used to wear a size nine in all Jordans, so it don't crease because Jordans started to have crap, shittier quality. Yeah. So like, you wear it one time, it made it look like you wore like 20 times already. Mm. You know what I mean? That crease was ridiculous. But um, yeah, like I know I'm gonna do my best to get a pair. You know uh, what I, mean? I, I I got. I need to get a pair. It's funny. The what's the colorways that I got? It's Pittsburgh. The retro nines, University Gold. Okay, okay, okay. I got those. And those then, of course, nice. the, was it the... Lightnings. The Lightnings. Lightnings. I, I remember you were, uh, when I showed you mine, remember the quality problem, quality uh, control? Yo, let's talk about that. <laughs> let's talk about that. So, yo, we're just going to be all over the place, but let's talk about it. So, quality control was hard, at least for us, right? And I got my pair first. Well, like, I got the same, within the same week. We got same week, the same yeah, week. you got like a day got, or two yeah, before you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was hyped, bro, because it was one of my grills, right? Uh, Lightning Fours is one of my grails when it comes to uh, fours in general. All right, I'm excited. I get them, I show them it, but then later I text them and sh uh, show them a picture of uh, quality control. Let me actually show you the shoe too, because I still have that shoe because I wore it before. Uh, instead yeah, of speaking other of shoes, this man got some great fives with some of my grails. <laughs> I might have to rob them later. Nah, nah, nah. We don't, we don't do that. We, we are, we are church goers. We go to church every Sunday. <laughs> also, we don't wear the same size, so he's cool. <laughs> But you see the inner, the inner, the inner, uh, inner side, not other side, other side. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So you see, you got yours there. Mine's was more like back here somewhere. So you could, in, in a sense, you can hide it and you can get yeah, away with it because it's in the upper. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like I had a quality control with like the suede being nippy or like mm. something, something was like really. Some like type of looking like water like, damage. Yeah. Type. It was like water yeah. damage or something. You know what I mean? It was wrinkly and I wore these twice. And I don't know how I got like mud underneath it, but thank God it's like it's still it's clean. It's still clean, yeah. Thank God, because you know the, the shoe is so bright that you know for a fact it's just dirty. You gonna you're, you gonna notice? You're screwed. Mm -hmm. you're, you're you're so screwed. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. We, I like me personally. I want a uh, full family size run for it. You know what I mean? Because you know, it's it's a black <laughs> shoe. Like you can't. I like them you colors, bro. They they're nice. Well, you you yeah, like it because I, of Steelers. I just like me, it because like, I like I, it. It's funny. So like, uh, well, like certain colorways, I would rock. Others, I would just like push to the side. Example. Give me a, give me. Uh, what's a good example, yo? Like them Citrus Sevens, bro. I would push those away. You fun fact? They're still sitting on snipes in next, next to Chuck E. Cheese. The one here on uh, no, the, the one uh, near Oregon on Third and Oregon, like uh, uh, Snyder's on Mifflin, uh, next to Target. The Target what, what story? in What's South Philly. Oh, the Snipes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I know deep, what you're talking about. Uh, like deep South Philly, yeah, yeah I know Columbus what you're talking Boulevard. About, yeah. oh, they still, they still, they're still sitting right there. And See, they got and the gingers. I want the gingers. I like those gingers. I don't know why. It's just like when it comes to okay, most people don't like anything past 13. All right, that's that's that's, that's fair. fair. I, yeah, I, but I don't. My favorite past thirteen are the twenties. People think, yo, why do you like those straps on those ankles? And there's like it's just strap on the ankle, ankle. and there's like from your the little like little gap. Yeah. And then like the shoe. I'm yeah. like, I don't know. It's just something about those. Because the all black pair that only came in a um in the pack, I believe, the black stealth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was remember. all black. I remember seeing. I was like, yo, I like those. You know, I I don't know why I do. But I just want that pair only, that colorway only. But yeah, like it's it's crazy. Uh, green bean fives are still sitting around us, and and that's funny. That's and those great, the those white grape fives too. It's like it's uh it's white like this, like the, but then it's white purple with the bottom. Concord Concord fives. Oh, uh, the Concord fives. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So and that's funny. I would wear the the green bean fives uh -huh. over the Concord fives. I I think <laughs> on them nice? fives, huh? Green beans are nice. I do like the like material and it was it like the 3M all over the sneaker and like that green. I me personally I like it. I don't think I could like rock that color. Like, I don't know how like 
I mean, fashion my way around it, basically. To you can always go simple. Like if there's a shoe that you don't understand, and I tell people this a lot too. If it's a like shoe that's very loud to, in your eyes and mm-hmm. your perspective and you don't know what to do, black jeans, mm-hmm. white tee. Yeah, that's true. White tee. It's true. like plain, plain pop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Start from top right. to bottom. Because you, you can't go too matchy-matchy with that shoe because like, it's like that's you're all gray, all gray and like green, green shirt. Yeah, you like, bro, you look like, like a spoiled gumball. <laughs> Like a green apple gumball. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's the whole reason. Like I said, I did like the five. Actually, on topic that fives are like my best yeah. Jordan. Oh, so like you say, when your grails or you're sold yeah. after it, like, yeah, yeah. Just... Like, I would like always rock some fives. Mm-hmm. They're just like comfortable on my feet. Mm-hmm. The colorways are nice. Uh, what else? On got... what's your favorite five then? I, like you said, it was the grapes, or was it something different? Favorite five, bro. What is my favorite five? Mine? I already had mine. Of course, you're great, bro. This is the only... Because this is what... When, to us, who do you think when you Fresh see Prince. Grapefruit? Exactly. Exactly, yeah. You know what I mean? I think my I favorite... Watched that yeah, yeah. I, said, I think my favorite fives would be... Probably the... Um, damn it. What is them joints called? Italics? Chicago Bull? The Chicago Reds? Nah, nah. The, um, I'm surprised you don't... I, I'm surprised you don't... I want actually to have... Them. I have... You uh, have a pair. The newest one, right? No, nah, I have... Release? What's, what's the fives I got in the crib? I got the the fire red fives. Yeah. The top three fives. The one. Oh, you have those? I got those. Oh, sure. And then what other fives I got in the house? I think that's it. Hold on. I got to look through my... You're going to look through your IG. I got to look through my IG. The, while we wait for this man's answer, you know what I mean? Um... Oh, and the Raging Bull fives. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Chicago yeah, yeah, fives yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah Raging yeah, Bull fives. And I got the Oreo fives too. Oreo? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Fives are comfortable. Oh, those. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the uh, the newer release though. The newer release. Yeah. I remember those. Uh, remember the, the Oreo fives, the, the Fear Fours. Yeah. And like the Fear Threes or whatever. Yeah, they they yeah. tried to make it similar or whatever. It came out all that year. And I remember the the Fear Fives, Fear Four, Fear Threes or whatever you want to call it. And like it was before or after uh, the Oreo fives came out the first mm-hmm. time, and like everybody went like kind of crazy for it. But then when it re-released. It was like I was like, oh shit, nobody wants them. Cause they were sitting at one point. These I uh, I actually won two pairs on sneakers. Oh nice. I was um I had a few of my friends just like, yo, these are dropping, I won them. I won a pair, one of my friends, B won a pair, and like I was like, should I like keep it and mm-hmm. resell it? Mm-hmm. But something was like, nah, I just tell her to cancel the order and, and let mine come in. Yeah, I mean at least you save some money, you know. Yeah. You know, like that. He's, a lot of people like to double up. Which like is a good and good and bad situation, unless you have the money to, to have extra side money to just toss it for a second pair. Because that's what I did with um with like uh, with the lightning force. Mm-hmm. Someone uh, I got wine for retail and I copped another person. They weren't they were sitting. Mm-hmm. I saw the opportunity. He was like he wanted uh he wanted two forty. I'm like yo retail was what was what two ten. I was like or two hundred or whatever. Two hundred. And I was like, yo, I'll do retail and I'll come to you right now. Damn, I was working. I was doing break and I went to go get it and I came back and <laughs> I was like, yo, I was doing some uh, cleaning because I need uh, money and shit. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, I can get my money back guaranteed on that. You yeah, know what I mean? So I just, yeah. I just sold it again because I know uh, as long as I have one pair, I, I'm happy. I would, so like, I wouldn't mind doubling up on certain pairs, but at the end of the day, my main focus, of course, main priority because us going against bots, it's one <laughs> pair. <laughs> At least you're getting one pair. Oh my god, these bots, bro. Man, like, do you know anyone personally that does bots? I do. I don't hate on them. I don't, let me say my piece. I don't mind bots, right? Because it's part of the game. I understand they're trying yeah, to make yeah, them money. Yeah, yeah. Because you think about it, bot rental is expensive. Yeah, Not yeah. a lot of bots are being sold as a whole because you know they they know if you milk, you can milk it. So they do like a monthly subscription. Yeah, I was about to say thing. how they do subscription. And yeah. and if you win, you have a higher chance of winning. You're not guaranteed winning. Yeah, yeah, just higher. You know what I mean? But some bots that guarantee wins are like a higher price. So like, what do you think about that? Like, what? How do you feel about bots and the reselling nowadays? I'm not mad at them. It's the hustle. Like I said, I'll, I'll show them the love. Like, listen, that's that's. I mean, that's how you make your bread. Go ahead, but like. Me as a person that like loves the sneaker, like uh-huh. loves the culture, yeah. like I want that feeling. Like yo, I want on on sneakers. I mean, and you remember a point in time my sneakers Dude, W list. He showed me his list. We were, it was a day 
fun uh, little backstory though. It was a day when me and him decided to go play those closet, right? Went to like three or four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We couldn't find much. Like, we found something, but it just wasn't, it wasn't for us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we ended up matching with Flint's. <laughs> I had the OG uh, Flint's colorway. He had the red, uh, the red, red Flint's, yeah. and we're just walking in. <laughs> I can't like it was just funny because we didn't even. It, was, it, it wasn't it, even playing. Yeah. We just I was like, like, yo, I'm wearing my Flint's, and he was like, yo, you know what? I'm wearing my red. I was like, fuck it, we're gonna we're gonna rock out. We're gonna matchy matchy in a way, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, uh, back to what you were saying. Uh, this man was that day. He showed me all his W's on on sneakers app. And let me tell you, I was envious. This man did not lose for like, I would say what, four months straight? Four or five, five months straight, Maybe bro. even six? Maybe six. Dude, I was like, yo. I, and if he did, he maybe lost like, like out of 10, he probably lost like two at best. Mm. You know? And I'm over here struggling just to just try to get certain things. I don't get shit. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, like I said, I got lucky, bro. They, they was showing me love. But like I said, like the bots and stuff, I get it. It's, it's a money maker and stuff but like me I, I I get better like feeling joy like yo I no, got you these got yeah. you know without a, a bot help and stuff nah man because like I ain't gonna lie like I, I there's times I've been tempted to buy bots oh, same, or until these uh, but it's like not every month I want a shoe exactly. you know what I mean I don't know how the subscription is if they do like a continuous monthly, monthly thing or yeah. like oh One here's time. like 30 days instead type of thing yeah. you know what I mean but if I lose, I lose. I think of it the silver lining. Okay, I save like a buck fifty, two, yeah, two hundred, two hundred, two ten, or whatever. Yeah. That go that can go to something else. Fact. You know what I mean? But um, another thing I want I want you to put on because uh, so I support StockX. <laughs> All right, let's get this clear. I don't I'm, I don't hate on StockX. I, uh-huh. I, I, I like StockX. Uh-huh. But the problem with StockX was. I know you saw like the Instagram where they have um, where they post like yeah, the fake the infos and shit. The infos. But here's the thing: remember, there's fake companies faking the stock X. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So the reason why stock X is getting all that hate or all that Cause backlash because they're mm-hmm. that name is attached but are, to it. But do you believe some do slip through the cracks? I'm pretty I, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're humans. Because bro, at the end of the day, the authenticators are humans. You know what I mean? It's not like they have the code that can scan. Boop goes to Nike. Yeah. Boop. Boop, boop, like yeah. it's not. It's not like that. It's like. You know, let me, let me show you one. We, I'm gonna pass him a pair of uh, bacon, uh, Air Max bacon, right? Joint. With with the with stock X tag. Yeah. You ever notice like the stock X was different? So, and this is, and and let me tell you about this authentication thing that's like kind of pissing me off. Uh-huh. Like uh, I remember on Instagram, I would comment like some of these sneaker pages uh-huh. where they would just like look at the sneaker and be like, "Yeah, it's legit." I'm like, "Yo, you don't do like no black light check." You don't do like no insole takeout, mm-hmm. checking the stitches, mm-hmm. and I get backlash like, "Oh, back, uh, black light check, like you a rookie." I'm like, that tells you ninety no, 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 no. percent of that sneaker on its own. When people say shit like that, it's so stupid because like, I know for a fact, at least I would say seven out of ten with the way fakes are now, mm-hmm. you need a black, a black light. Yeah, you that's know what, what I'm mean? Because the quality matches, if not better. Better, yeah. But the only way you can tell is because the the black, stitching yeah the stitching because some some of the stitching on certain uh on certain sneakers they like light up yeah so you can see like the stitching mm-hmm. holes and stuff and, but people it's just like nah you're a rookie you still need a black light like, I'm like that's safe what do i have in my hand right here bro? A black light. <laughs> exactly and i've been in this shit for over 10 years because back then you could tell a fake from a from, from a far street. yeah you know what i mean you can tell now it's like you have to really look put your face into yeah. it and like even to the point where the scent is different Cause they can't, yeah, they can't copy can't. that glue. Yeah. It's crazy. Something that simple will change the difference. Like, like the stitching. People say, "Oh, there's goats." There's. Uh, I remember I was in an argument with some dude on IG, or not IG on my TikTok or whatever, right? Not argue. I would say like a dispute. Mm-hmm. He was like, "Oh, you're, I'm challenging your point of view." He talked about ghost stitching. I'm like, I know what that means when he says it. Mm-hmm. I don't need to look it up because like, it's like, oh, they could hide it somehow. Yeah, I'm can. like, unless you stitch on top of that stitch. You can't hide it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, what was it? I, like I said, you still need a black light, man. Because like I said, like how you were saying, these fakes are getting so good that like you really need to like legit check. But here's everything. the thing. They're yeah. sloppy. With, they make it look clean, mm-hmm. but it's not clean from within. Because like when you, for example, like those uh, back then when Nike uh, was doing poor quality control, right? Mm-hmm. Remember? There was a lot of loose stains. Yeah. They were, you know what I mean? But they now they clean it up. Like I remember my my my, uh, my cool gray 11s I bought. 
you don't see the glue stain, but you see the glue stain on the mistle. Yeah, but there's yeah. A, there's a difference because the fake ones are because uh, I did a um, well, I did a uh, blue uh, black light on a fake pair of mm. uh, Space Jam 11s that I saw before, right? Mm. And dude, the whole mistle, you see all the stains, like yeah, like it's I'm like sloppy. Yeah, it's so yeah. sloppy. So. Jordan 11s will always have loose stains with black light. Mm -hmm. It's also the only thing you can tell is from the smell, from uh, a nickel trick that I learned. So with 11s, you see how this over here? Yeah. If it fits, if it fits right here, you're mm -hmm. good. If it's too big, it's fake. It's, yeah. You know what I mean? Because the separation. But then, like you know, I don't know if you know, but Nike moved to Vietnam like a couple years ago, or whatever. Yeah, because like China it. thing, and. Shit was wild. I was like, "Oh shit!" They like there's internal problems. But then when they moved to Vietnam, their quality got a little bit better, but their quality control is still sloppy. Still sloppy, yeah. Dude, I like I, I just don't understand. Like you're paying good money. Like for example, like how we got the lightning. How the lightning? Yeah, because it's, it's so dumb. Actually, like the same thing. That post we saw on Instagram, the boy had the the mold on the Citrus Seven. It's like how you let that slide. I don't know. Unless unless it was cool when they had yeah, it in and the then hand, through shipping through shipment yeah. something got wet and his pair you know But mean? that's the thing, when 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 they ship they should send it back, but they know someone's gonna buy it sooner or later. Maybe. But I think that person got them through uh straight from sneakers app. Mm. Cause think about it, when you go to a store, they let you check it now. Yeah they, they it's always they always do it because yeah, they, they always you have, check yeah. your quality control. There's times where I I fought for it because uh, those Hirachi you see behind you, the 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 purple and blue one. Yeah. There's a little slit on the toe. I didn't mm. know. I was just so hyped. I because that's the original man. colorway. So when they came out, I was like, yo, I know they're gonna sit, but I feel like resellers will try to cop it when it's on sale and resell it from for of retail. Course. You know what I mean? So I, I pulled the trigger ASAP and then I got him. I got him home. Boom. You know what I mean? Same yeah, thing yeah. with um my Atmos uh, SPs. I got these off of Stock X though. But you know, quality control. Well, yeah. I I checked it with legit, but you know when you're holding them. Yeah, you see the. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, but when, you, when I was holding them, I was holding it like this. I remember exactly how I was holding it. Mm. So of course my thumb was on was it, uh, yeah. on the on the burn mark. So I was like, damn, Nike needs to do better quality control, and that this also leads to our next topic of how Stock X they are shitty. They are horrible with quality control. So bro. horrible. It doesn't make sense. Super, bro. I don't even know. As how. long as it's dead stock and real, they ship it out. Yeah. And if, if you've complained about quality control, you know what they do? They give you 20, 15 to 30 percent, depending on how bad the uh the, Not even the that market is. Sometimes, bro, they give you that was it that twelve dollars shipping credit? They that happened to you or they yeah, that, that happened for you? to me. Oh, so so, let me let me hear let me hear this. So and this is why um I don't go through stock X much. Uh, what pair were I supposed to cop through stock X and it never like. Uh, snap. Oh, actually, they were the Toro, the Toro Fives. Oh yeah. yeah so yeah, I, tell, I was, I was supposed to. I went through Sneakers app. Mm -hmm. I mean, not Sneakers app. Sorry. Uh, through StockX because they had them for like close to retail. Mm -hmm. So I pulled the trigger because I was like, I probably won't win these on the app anyway. So mm -hmm. just let me, let me get it. I paid, I paid the money. They received it. Get the email confirmation like, oh, we're waiting for the seller to send it to. To stock X. To stock X for authentication. I got an email saying it was shook. But it got lost? I don't know if it got lost or like whatever the case may be because stock X never received uh, the sneaker whatsoever, bro. Most like it probably got lost yeah. or the shipper never sold, uh, never it uh, like, sent it. Yeah, because I thought they got it because I bought it for like real treat, bro. I mean, like it was close to retail, so that's why. <laughs> And um, yeah, never got that money. Uh, I got my money back, of course, but they also gave me like a, a little, credit. The, the, yeah, the little yeah. shipping, the sh no, shipping credit. That, that shit goes a long way. Like, yeah. bro, I like I got I I bid these right here, right, for below retail for one ten, mm. and then basically we're shipping them. It was like one thirty, one thirty five, yeah, or whatever. You know that's what I mean? That's still exactly. Like, that's how I got my um, up tempo Chicago's. Oh yeah, I, I went through goat with that. Yeah, yo, tell tell, tell oh, the people man. the story. So. Chicago Up Temples, the the red and black ones, man. You know me, I love red. <laughs> you do, bro. They were sitting in the malls for like months. They and, were, and I was just like, I'm gonna grab a pair. I'm gonna grab a pair, and what they were like, one sixty, one eighty retail. retail was like one sixty, one seventy at the time. Yeah. At the time, I was like, mm, not worth it. I'm gonna wait till they drop because sometimes they do drop in pricing. 
Cause yeah, like you see certain shoes that aren't hype at the time, and yeah. you want them because it, it's an inline shoe. Yeah. So you use like, all right, there's gonna be a sale sooner so or later. later might yeah. as well wait. You know, save like thirty to fifty bucks. 50 or whatever. Bucks, yeah. Never happened, bro. And by the time I had like the extra money to like buy two, uh-huh. three pairs of sneakers, they were gone. And I was like, man, I regret that. I went right to goat. Um, some guy was selling his brand new for like under retail, which was like one forty. Mm-hmm. I only placed a bid for a hundred dollars. Boy, know. took it. I said he probably got it for lower. If not, he probably uh, he probably got it for real cheap, and he just wants some of his money back. Probably. That's the thing with like a lot of resellers now, like the newer ones. I see like they just grab anything that they think is gonna grow it's gonna make money. Yeah. Because one thing a lot of resellers don't understand, like you. You have to realize most shoes will sit now, but mm-hmm. sell over time. Now, if you have a, let's say, for example, you send a pair of, uh, great, uh, let's say, uh, Green Bean Fives, right? You have 10 pairs. You're sitting on them. They're sitting in stores. Yeah. You, they're gonna, you're going to have to wait a couple years when, of course, it's sold out completely, mm-hmm. which is, I guarantee you, by Christmas, everything that's sitting right now is going to go on. Yeah. That's Christmas. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how Christmas is. Yeah. So now you have a little leverage right now to where, all right, you could probably manipulate the market or whatever go from like where it's sitting at like 230 right now if not retail right. if anything I'm if anything probably market. sitting at 230 that's that's uh, let's talk about that uh, that's something that kind of bothers me with like reselling so like some of these stores reseller stores uh, i understand the market yeah like everybody goes to stock x to see what's market prices my right. thing is I understand you gotta make some money for like your overhead, like you gotta pay your bills, yeah. your worker. I understand that. Yeah. But like don't try to like smack someone over. Smack some <laughs> money. Yeah, bro, cause like let's say The twelves, remember you saw the video I, I talked about? Somebody was selling uh the playoff twelves for like four fifty. Yeah. And then you then you could sell them on stock you could buy them off of stock ass for I, I showed the price difference. Yeah. And I was like, yo, you could buy them off of stock ass for like what, two ten? That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're going to say, oh, this is not market or that's not market. I'm like, if you check market and your last sale price on market. Yeah, you do. At least you try to do last to, sale. Let's try to bring it down to that price at least. But here's the thing. They're like most stores. I support like, like a lot of my homies. Uh, one of my homies uh, from Common Ground and shit. Shout out to him. He has a store called Common Ground, right? And mm-hmm. he is reasonable. He is straight up reasonable. But like stores, like other stores, I like that. I'm not gonna say the name. Yeah, I ain't gonna, we ain't gonna say names, but, but we know. But the dude that just opened up on South Street, right, right mm-hmm. where uh, where mm-hmm. Adidas used to be, mm-hmm. I saw his prices, their prices. I was like, woof. That's what I'm saying. I was bro. like, woof. I'm like, oh, you you would think, right, to bring people in, you lowball, like you lowball your prices a little bit, get get get, get some like to come get in. some people in, through but they don't do that. But it, like I said, it's not my shoe, not my problem. Yeah, you know, but like, you know I mean? like right now with like them green bean fires, right? Uh-huh. Stock X, bro. The last sale was one eighty nine. Oh shit, they're below retail. Retail now. is two hundred, bro. So that being so said, like, you're paying like what ten dollars on top. Yeah. Is so now anything? let's say if I go to a reseller store and I see them same green bean fires and they want like three fifty, I'm gonna yeah. be like, market is only at one eighty. Yeah. Why would I pay you three? Because they're still saying one. They're also still they still saying this. Yeah. I mean? Like that's the thing about reselling, like. Like people thought anyone can do it. Yeah. Yes, anyone, anyone can. can do it. But but you have to have some type of like understanding of how the market, market is. Fl- yeah, it fluctuate. Like bro, I like talk about. Remember I showed you I got these for one fifty. Yeah. The Red Force. Hate you for that. <laughs> bro, and you saw how dusty they were. They were, the kid literally just walked in dust, like in like in a in a, in a dusty ass attic. You know what I mean? Got them for one fifty. And I clean them up, and they look. I can sell that shit for probably fucking like three, three fifty. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Double my money. But some people, they just. That's the thing. They follow the hype. They make. They think they could like resell at those prices. But that's the, the, the newer comers, right? Can only base it off of hype. Because yeah. when you're still new, you can't do much besides follow the trend. And I understand it. I, I, I'm so like I said, I'm supportive of all that right. reselling shit. But then like you have to have at least some common sense in it at the same yeah. time. Like. There's, you can't always have a W every single time. You're not. You're gonna like, lose. You're gonna lose some. You're gonna like break even. even. You might lose some money. Uh, you, you might, might make some money. Like, yeah. It's everywhere. But then it's like, unless you're a baller, you know what I mean. For example, like if you get the Travis Scott ones, the ones the reverse smokers. Mm-hmm. Let's say hypothetically speaking, it's one K, right? Mm-hmm. Average individual like you and me, we're not gonna pay one. I'm not yet. If, if we see somehow for like five, six hundred, brand new, maybe. Well, well, like we might pull the trigger. Maybe, yeah. But 
we have to remember when it comes to shoes like that, you have a certain circle, a certain clientele that can drop that 900, drop that 1K, drop that 1.2, or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? It's, it's just fact. Like, a, like I said, a regular individual like you and me just works a regular nine to five. We, we, the best, like me personally at least, I'm not trying to count your pockets, but best for personally for me, I stick to retail. <laughs> Bro, I, try I to stick, stick to, to retail. retail. I, like, I stick to retail. What's 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 the highest uh, I paid? Yeah, I what is paid? your highest you ever paid? Was those bread elevens, but I also had got store credit for it. So store, I got more in store credit mm-hmm. than actual cash because I sold. Um, remember my Easter first, 11, my so. Easter, my Easter twelves. Oh, it was twelve. It was twelve. Okay, yeah, yeah, Easter twelves. I sold, and I think I sold my uh, reverse flu game twelves. Okay. Uh, they gave me like 260 store Easter, credit. Two shoes right there. Say it again. Easter 12. Easter 12s and the, the reverse flu game, game 12. For how much? I got 260 store credit. You know what I'm saying? I know why he did because he really like he loves Brett 11s. That's like one of his favorite. Top, like it's like top three when it comes to Jordans. Right. I know that for sure. But you see how like selling these shoes low ball? Yeah. Like it like it's crazy. Like as a consumer, mm-hmm. like you, you know, you hear all my like you see. You, yeah, I hear it. I talk about yo. Know, it's what's the worst they can say? No. Exactly. I mean, the worst thing you, they do they is no. Yeah, but like, unless you go in person, they you, you lowball them in person, and then y'all might argue yeah, or whatever. Like, what was it? Because uh, they were used too. You know what I mean, but I yeah. keep them clean. So mm-hmm. and, and and that's another thing that will help you out if you try and sell some new sneakers. Mm-hmm. Try get some creases out, clean them, clean them. When I say clean, I mean laces. The sneaker Everything. insole, he struck, the bottom. Not he struck the whole shoe, but well, like, like a, break down the whole shoe to yeah, clean it out. Yeah, clean it, bro. And that's why they gave me a little bit higher because uh-huh. those sneakers really wasn't selling for nothing. They were like, what? We still probably sitting on stock for retail or anything? under retail, bro. Under retail? Under retail, Shit. bro. And he was like, yo, I could give you 260 I was like, yeah, they're used. I don't care. And I think like two days later, I got the Bread 11s. They wanted, uh, what was it? 250 Two fifty. And, and what did you do? I Remember. bought it like the store credit. But then you then you knock it down, or did you I, knock it down previous and then it went down to two? No, I knocked it down over there because they had like a little imperfection where yeah. it's like a little uh, a little, little scratch on the patent leather. Right? Yeah, like no, nah, not on the patent leather, like on the midsole, like uh, where the, oh, uh, yeah, on, yeah. The, on the. So on it was the, just a little something not even noticeable, uh-huh. bro. But like a normal person would have been like, "Yeah, I'll pay you whatever." But I'm mm-hmm. like, "Yo, you got this here, you got like a little crease here, you got like a little scratch here. Like, let's. I'm not going like say." bring down like yeah. eighty dollars but like let's bring down some money. So, so I, just, I just pulled out a, a pair of bread elevens I have as well, right? And I got these uh when uh twenty twenty around uh December. Mm-hmm. I remember I just got off of work, you know, when I used to uh, work for the delivery service, mm-hmm. remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that being said, I was like, yo, they posted re up in uh Deadford Mall. Uh, no, Morristown Mall or Deadford Mall? Deadford Mall, my fault. Mm-hmm. Uh post on IG first come first serve, two hundred. But no mm-hmm. box. That's no box. There was no box. I was like, yo, I, I need a pair of Brett 11s because I have a pair. I'm going to show you right here. I want you to see. I, I know you, you probably going to cuss me out. <laughs> I might sock this man. So get ready. Y'all might hear some scuffling. Ah, you. Ooh. So he has a pair of, of a, a dirty bread that I have. Mind you, I didn't do that to the shoe. I didn't do that to the shoe. Yeah, I, I got him like that. You got him like that. You try to like I, find. I try to because it was free. I got him for free. You know what I mean? And like you see, he did a horrible job because it's the, the bro. He colored this with Sharpie. <laughs> I don't know what he colored it, bro. You see all the thing I try to scrape off. It's so hard. It's uh, so hard. Have you tried acetone? I did, and and, and, and look, look where is it? And this is what it does. It just uh, it, it, it bites into it. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, it's so difficult for y'all that don't know. Trying to like restore shoes is so difficult. Oh my god. But here's the thing with that. What's crazy is, um, yeah, they're the they're the pack CDP pack one too. Mm. You can see the insole; they have the patch insole for insole. Ah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And I can fit them. I just don't wear them because I don't want to walk around with cracked, dirty pants. <laughs> like I just want to get it cleaned if I can somehow. And look, it's it's from 08 and there's no separation at all, bro. That's bro, like I'm, you see me squeezing it, trying to pull back the pant leather. Oh, it's my, not. Oh my. The quality on these were crazy. They're so, so beautiful. It, it you still is it's not it's still firm, but it's, it's yeah, soft. It's, yeah, so it's yeah. not as flimsy. You know what I mean? Because everything back then was very sturdy. 
Yeah, that's you know true. I mean? Yeah, back in the day, yeah. Back in the day, yeah. Everything, but now everything is like it's okay. It's alright. It's, it's like the the quality now is okay. Like, what was your most recent pickup when it came uh, came to any shoe recently? Uh, the Playoff Twelve. Oh, that's the yeah. one. I, no, I, no, no. You gave you got me the. the the that? updated taxis, what do they call it? The Unity or some shit? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you called me. You was oh, yeah, I was uh, at Foot Locker. Foot Locker Center, and you Center was City. like, bro, they got uh, the, the 12s that you wanted. I was like, bro, grab them. It's crazy. I, I went out there just uh, to do some finds because that's around the time when I started like, really thrifting. Mm-hmm. I was, so I went to Buffalo to see what they got. They had some cool stuff there, but it wasn't my size. Mm-hmm. You know, remember I told you they had a Fear of God size 13? Yeah, 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 all black, remember, triple yeah, black. Yeah. I was like, god damn. And they had... um. Uh, Balenciaga Arena high tops all red size mm-hmm. eight and a half. I'm like, I'm not wearing that shit. <laughs> That's way too small. And then like they had some other stuff too. Fines and that, that day, uh, uh, last stop was Foot Locker. I was in the Lodi Zone, so I got like 30 minutes. The fact. <laughs> I'm not Yo, paper parking. For y'all that don't know, Philly parking downtown horrible. And I, I was going. I was at around there at 12. <laughs> Oh, That's prime time. Everyone prime going to PPA, lunch. PPA, PPA on your ass. <laughs> prime time, bro. So. You know, I, sh- I see, I'm like, oh, shit, size 12, because that was the one sitting out. So, I, you know, I called you or whatever, mm-hmm. and I showed you I gave you the same day and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, uh, like, back, th- like, even, like, a couple months back or whatever, like, things were, like, shoes were still sitting. It's just, like, you just have to look for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You yeah. have to put the time and effort, because, like, of course, not every, like, not just because one place is sitting doesn't mean multiple, everybody else. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Because think about these neighborhoods. You know what I mean? Everyone around that area probably might get or someone like not from that area going. Cold, to swoop, yeah. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, I'm you, telling. But, but, yeah, so you definitely grabbed those twelves for me. And um, what was it? Yeah, like the playoff twelves. I got those. I was in LA. I was uh, I was out there in March. Oh, yeah. And um, my little brother, like. Um, he called me. He's like, yo, I'm out by, like, KOP. And he was <laughs> like, yo, they got to play all 12s because I ain't get them on sneakers. Yeah, yet. yeah. And Probably his first L. Just let y'all know. <laughs> this man gets more W's than fucking W's. And he calls me up. He's like, bro, they got they got to play all 12s in stock. I was like, facts. Buy them. Cash at them that same day, bro. And I came back home. Them just waiting in my room. I was like, cool. My little birthday gift to myself. So... That's how I got Yo, my playoff. I'm gonna say this, right? Just to poke some fun, and he has a better winning record on sneakers than Lakers last year. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I love oh. LeBron. I love LeBron. But I have to throw oh, that in, I, and I know he'll love it more because he Fact. he knows. I know how he is with LeBron. But next year, supposedly the uh, White Cement Threes are coming out for two ten. Supposedly in March. Oh, the reimagine. You reimagine. I, I would. I would. I would definitely cop a pair. Like, Speaking of like. Next year, next year's um, yeah, I'm I'm definitely going. But that's the thing that has Nike on the back. You know this this pair, the one I got is from like 2011, I believe. Yeah, they got. The and joint. um, you can look look at the bottom. Look how much I wore them, bro. Like I, I they're they're so smooth. Yeah, yeah. some of the stars. I got it for going, 50 bucks. Damn, bro. 50 bucks, and it was better condition than I got it. Cause I used to wear, I wore those like everywhere. Bro, no, nice little clean on these things. I try my best to keep everything clean. Yeah, no, I feel that. No, nah, like, uh, what was it? Yeah, I'm definitely getting those those updated white cement threes. Uh, what else we just saw? I know. You, what about sh- the reimagined Chicago's? The ones? Yeah, you gonna try to get those? Uh, fifty fifty, bro. Because I got I, 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 so it's brittle material. Yeah, brittle material. Also, ones, bro. Those things are uncomfortable, bro. Because I, I don't know how for you. Like, bro, they're, they're, we got bo- you and me got both wide feet. The only difference is you're 12, I'm a nine and a half. Bro, they I, are, they're are okay. Killer, because, hey, hey, yo, let me tell you how I got my, uh. Um, Hold on, before, before, you, before you explain, do you lace them up like this, though? Let me see. Like, you see how I lace these up right here? The, mind you, I'm yeah, showing. Yeah, I, I, and it's still uncomfortable? I'm, I'm com- well, not like, I don't tie not them, like here. I mean, like, walking in them all day. Oh, really? Yeah. So, okay. so, and, and so that's that's what I mean by uncomfortable. Okay, okay. Like I'm not comfortable walking them in them all day. Like Long those those are like a two three hour sneaker. Okay, for you. So, yeah. uh, funny story of how I got my one is the the UNC. Uh, what was it? Uh, shout out to my boy Randall. He's the one that that told me about them. So I've been trying to get them on sneakers app too. Uh. They they dropped couldn't win them. Mm. And at this time, sneakers app was doing. Like the restock, the uh-huh. surprise restock, and I was driving home early morning too on the weekend. My boy Randall's like, "Yo, 
George ones just like restock going by. So I was driving, I see the text on right on sneakers app. And um, I think I had like 30 seconds to join the yeah. draw oh, before it closed. It was still a draw. Uh. So I get in, I like, you know, pay whatever, yeah. wait in line. I'm like, I'm not going to get them, whatever. I'm driving. Ding ding is my Apple Pay, bro. Saying, <laughs> Bank, you just took 200. I was like, My God, thank you, Lord Jesus. It's funny. I texted my boy Randall and I was like, Bro, did you win? He was like, Nah, I was like, I'm sorry, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, like, uh, funny story. Like, I m- all, most of my recent raffle attempts fails, same, bro. You know what I mean. And I'm okay with that because if I get them, like I said, if I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't. It's cool. That's that's where I'm at in the point with the game now. If I get them, I get them. If exactly. I don't, I don't. I know for a fact though, I'm I. If the sneaker that I like, I really want it. I I'm gonna try to find a way to a get cheaper it. route. Yeah, you know but I mean? if I can't, then it's whatever. Because um, we were just talking about those fire red threes that's yeah. dropping next Saturday. Yes, I got a plug that I ain't showing y'all <laughs> or telling y'all about because that's my plug. <laughs> I'm gonna just say I got sneaker it at plug, a sneaker plug. I got it at a nice price, <laughs> and, and they t- secure. And I'm like, yo, if I get them for retail, I get them for retail. Because here's the thing: remember, my superstition is if I win on a Nike's app, I can't win again for a couple <laughs> fucking uh, like raffles. Like my last one, uh, win was the Cop Fives, remember? Mm-hmm. And I was so excited. I, I like those, and you know, me being Asian descent. All right. Of course. I, I, I wanted it and it was a, for me it was a clean shoe you know for me it's a clean on top of that the, the missile glow in the dark you know what I mean yeah that that was like a real good W it, it, it was a W but it wasn't like like a satisfactory W I was like I remember because I realized yo they were still sitting on the app like a week later yeah I was like man I was stressing over nothing so this is the last win I got but I canceled the order was uh-huh. those um Air Jordan 2's the SP Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this man, right? He he was able to get a pair of the uh, which one call? I forgot. They they, they started with a C. I know they collabed yeah. with somebody. I won that pair, um, just for like the heck of it. I was like, let mm. me see, like the sale orange and cinnamon mm. citrus plus twos, and yo, those are clean. Those, those are, are clean. clean, and I didn't like so much the colorway I was gonna do it for a resale. Uh. But resale and it was trash. Of course. And I, I was bro, like, no one, the, If it's not off-white, oh, yeah, of course. it's not going to sell. You know what I mean? Because the twos, the only reason why twos became a thing is because of off-white. Those two lows, off-white lows. I ain't going to lie. I did want the uh, Chicago colorway, too. I wanted both oh, of them just to resell. Because I, like, but they're only going for, like, what, two, like, maybe four They dropped five. down, bro. They dropped and down. Which bitch. is crazy because rest in peace to Virgil. Yes, but, rest in peace um, Rest ah, rest in peace to Virgil. It's crazy because like yo, I seen people reselling them after he passed away, and they were like going up for a nice price, because but now they dropping crazy. I'm gonna tell you a story that relates to someone passing away and reselling, right? So back then, where at most is right now in Center City, mm-hmm. used to be Ubik, right? Oh, I know what story. Remember yeah, Ubik, right? Yeah, yeah. It was called Ubik. When the Doorbecker Fives came out, I was there. Okay. The night before, like, no, it wasn't the night before. It was like a week within the release, right? Mm-hmm. It was like a few days before the release. I know that for a fact. The manager answers the phone. Some kid calls him, right? He's like, no, what the hell? Hangs up, okay? The kid asks the manager, hey, the kid that designed the Dornbecker 5 passed away. Is resale going to be a lot more? Bro, I was like, what? So, I, I know with, like... That's, that's... It had to be a kid, because, mind you, like, he probably doesn't, like, morality, he doesn't he doesn't understand, but, like, that's the mindset of resellers. Like, like bro, when Kobe passed away, all his shit went, Yeah, went flying, bro. They went sky and Nike high. And Nike knew what was happening, and mm-hmm. out of respect to Kobe, because how they much... Stopped, yeah, they, they stopped, stopped it. yeah. Which is understandable, and this is the thing, like... Big names like Kobe, Virgil, Virgil, like you know, whoever they want to bring some value to their stuff because it's no longer he's no longer here. You think of it like this: Will the shoe be as popular as as it is? Let's say, for example, Kobe never wore Kobe's. You know, is it say it was something else? You know what I mean? Probably not. Probably not. Cause like look, Virgil, look. you can't say anything about Virgil because Virgil started from the bottom up. Yeah, and he's not an athlete; he was a designer. Designer. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He started. He saved Nike because when. Kanye went to fucking uh, Adidas. 
350s nonstop. And guess what? Virgil did his uh, top 10 collection. Yeah, poof, yeah, poof, yeah Everything yeah. just went zoom. Zoom, yeah. Cause like, bro, he he did those um those those hiking shoes. Yeah, I remember. I saw them joint. I ain't gonna lie. Those are I would say something like that is a good trophy shoe. Something you will just have in collection, but you wouldn't be able to wear it unless you actually hike. You know yeah, what I mean? that's true. You I can't walk know. that in the city. Granted, the the the, the spikes are gum. So it's like, eh. eh. But still, I feel like uh, any of Virgil sneakers I would rock would be like the Louis Vuitton ones. Uh, Those, what color you want it? <sighs> like out all the ones you want it. What would, if you could have one pair, which would be? Mine's typical white and blue. Because it's so clean. It's so simple. That's what I was going to go to. You know, white, and white and blue. Because like, oh, it's just a simple color. Mm-hmm. It, it works. And you remember back in the day, LV Air Forces were foo-foo. Foo-foo. <laughs> <laughs> and... Fucking Virgil made that made shit it? into a life thing. Facts. I know someone person who got him for Damn. retail. Not personal, but I know someone. Like yeah. I, he's like like a, like a, a, like, you a know, friend of yeah, my yeah, my yeah. friend. You know what I mean? And I was like, yo, he showed me. I was like, not in person, but the picture. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. So he was like, so basically, his 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 mom was a big LV shopper. Mm. So she was able to get it for him to get to him. you know what I mean. Of course, he paid Damn, for it. That's love. But you know that's I'm t- that's, yo, that, that's love. I was like, yo, respect. But then like, then like yeah, like I said, the only one I want is the blue, white mm-hmm. and blue one. I like those. Uh, if somehow they ever like, I know you know they did a lot of different colors and shit. Mm-hmm. But if it wasn't if it, if I don't get the white and blue, I want the the LV print one. The actual, the, the brown, actual the white brown, with the, the white and white brown mm-hmm. and I know dark brown about, or yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever. Because I'm not. Mind you, I'm not I'm not a big uh, designer person. Like me neither. Uh, bro, I, I still I still rock Uniqlo <laughs> and Target. Bro, <laughs> I rock Hane. <laughs> this is a Hane white tee, bro. I'll put uh, a Supreme stick in my hat. I'm still in my gym clothes. I got I got I got I got a tank Dragon Ball Z tank on from five dollars from Clarence from GameStop. <laughs> I said, that's, that is one thing about me though. I don't really care about design and like exactly. clothing, but like I will rock always like some you know, nice little fresh yeah. If I, like 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 for me like. I, I do my best to to budget fashion. You know what I mean? Like you see, like I got a couple of like what Supremes. That's mainly it. Like hot when it comes to like high end streetwear, because of the retail price. I mean, because of the market price. Retail is not that much. You know what I mean? Honestly, I think why I'm not into it, bro. They don't make nothing my size. Ain't nothing comfortable in my size, bro. Uh, <laughs> yes and no. Yes and no. Like you talking from, about from like you- high designer brand shit? Then yeah. Talking about normal designer brands, like for some, for example, you you could you could rock a play shirt, like CDG. Yeah, 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 you could yeah. do that. You can do uh uh, uh Bapes this. Yeah. Well, well, um, not Bapes the Bape. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. They do up to like double or maybe even triple. I've seen triple, I think. But when it comes to me, like most of my uh, clothing, to be honest with y'all, is like I, I bounce everywhere from like Zara, H and M, Target. Like I bounce everywhere. Like. Those are my main go-to right. because, like, I need colors. I need, I, uh, I need to be able to match a certain way mm-hmm. because, and now that I'm slimming down, I'm able to fit a freaking so large, <laughs> a large and a, a Must large. Be nice, but bro, when I when, like I wear certain shirts now, like, of course you do like the the over I, like the oversized tees or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll up, roll up, you know what yeah. I mean? But like, yeah, like, uh, like back to LV, like that shoe really might be the shoe of the year only because of the hype and what mm-hmm. like, yeah, like said, rest, did, rest, yeah. rest in peace to Virgil but like it's it's crazy you know what I mean because I remember when like back to the other topic Kobe dude when I got the what if Kobe pack I wasn't ready to sell it yet you know, I, I had to sell it because I, need, yeah, like, I needed the money yeah, for yeah. my son but like the shoe someone offered me a price like that I couldn't like I could not say no Yeah, I was like so, fuck yeah. it you know Speaking I mean? of those, the, um, the Mamba, the Mamba Cita's, uh, bro, I had got exclusive access, bro. Oh, but you, you, you didn't get it? No, let me tell you why. And I didn't even know this. Let me hear this Fuck shit. sneakers at for this. They didn't show you a notification, huh? <laughs> nah, so, bro, and this is the other thing. And this is the other thing about, yo, listen, let me tell you something about sneakers at. Worst fucking app ever. <laughs> 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 let me tell you why. We talk our shit. We talk our shit here. Let hey, me tell we, you why. We, we, we. <laughs> We we support and yet we slander. <laughs> so let me tell you why. sword. All the notifications are silent. Unless no, you, unless you actually go unless, into the settings and like. Not put even, it up. bro. I have them on. Uh huh. Email, push, uh-huh. whatever. Even if they're on, they're still quiet. 
Are you on a, a, a Focus or whatever? That no. Late no, night bro. Focus or whatever? No. no? None? No. I oh, mean, shit. those apps are legit quiet. Don't. Well, to be fair, not to cut you off, but when I get notification off of sneakers and it does make a tone, it's uh, like 10 minutes before drop. Yeah, you, know you I mean? get I those. Get or I get yeah, I get those. I'll get the ten minutes before drop. But you hear a sound for those though. Yeah, right? okay, and, okay. and you'll get like, oh, these sneakers are a week away. Like I'll get those, but when it's like exclusive access, they're quiet. Mm-hmm. Or if it's a restock, they're quiet. Uh-huh. So the mamacitas, bro. I remember it was I was helping one of the family friends out Sunday. I I'm always on my phone, just like changing music. Uh-huh. It's like I'm always blasting yeah. music. I'm changing like albums and boom, sneakers at you you got exclusive access to the cool Mamacita. Clicked it, got my size. When it's time to pay, that processing circle oh. just kept spinning, bro. It would not even take my payment. I'm like switching different cards, same thing, processing payment. A lot that happens a lot. That happens people, a lot. No, I'm saying for that day, a lot of people were complaining about it. Yeah. They had it in cart and everything. Yeah. But, but they bought the Nike sneakers that wasn't taking the money. Yeah. So by the time like it finally went through, it, it said sorry, sold out. I was like, "Fuck sneakers app!" <laughs> oh my god, bro. Bro, I had the similar situation. Remember with the uh, the the blue fragment lows? Yeah, Charles, I told you. I was working that. I was and you working missed that it, day. right? I missed it. I got the notification like 20, 30 minutes after, and I had exclusive access to the shirt, the shoe, the hoodie, the sweats, all. Full oh, size yeah. run oh, of everything because of, of the size that I put in. They gave me another chance, but I was working. I didn't know. I was so pissed. And I was like, you know what? It's okay. At the end of the day, I only wanted to resell, to be honest with you. But it like it's lost money, but it's not lost money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I can't get mad at that. Like I said, the mama seed was something I was gonna like cherish. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was something it's, I was gonna cherish. It's for his yeah, daughter, for his for daughter, him. for him. That's something. Like I, I it's I her hated, number on the back of the I show. hated I hated Nike that day, bro. I hated <laughs> Nike. But um let's talk about another release that's coming up next week. Not next week, next year. Uh are you a fan of foams? Or not? Bro, which phone positives you're talking <laughs> about? The red ones? Yeah, the one that's coming out. Yeah. They're coming out uh summertime next year, supposedly. I'm I want those. Uh-huh. They're also rumored uh white ones, the oh, all white ones, the, the pure all, ones. Okay. Yeah. Definitely want those. Um, what else? Hopefully they, they somehow change the soul to make it more translucent. Yeah. To where it doesn't yellow. It. Yeah. It's going to be yellow regardless. But yeah. But hopefully they make it, uh, like, make it longevity. Je- I mean? Yeah. And those. And then, um, what else? What else is dropping next year? Uh, it's of course, so the Lightnings I want. Lightnings, yeah. Uh, oh, the Columbia 11s. Oh, I have a pair. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I have. Every pair of those man once I got. Uh, I swear, if we were a size, same size, man, we would be shoes fighting. Be missing. <laughs> His shoes would be missing. Jesus, bro, bro. I got those for a buck fifty. Fuck you. Most bro. of my shoes I got for below retail or a little above retail. That was it, bro. I do my best to save money. You see, know what I mean? Because I got the lows. I got the low versions, mm-hmm. which are a saucy sneaker. It's but, a good. It's a good summer shoe. But the high tops. Oh my god, bro. Can't no, wait like, till those drop. I like these. When these came out, I just wish they did a little bit better. You see how it creases? Yeah. Like, this I is mean, too you gonna, soft. You gonna see it no, it's because it's too soft. Mm. I like, mean, even the newer ones are too soft. Like my Cool Gray 11s? I, uh, I, I haven't even worn those yet. You haven't? Hell no. They're soft. They're really soft. Yeah. Like, you can press the toe. Yeah. Like it's softer than this. Just press it. It's softer than that. You, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Way softer. It's crazy. But, um, yeah, like phone posits. I'm not a big phone posit person. Uh, the only one I want is like the all black suede one, because uh, yeah, it's like an all black yeah, yeah. shoe. Like so, it's like I don't mind it. If I ever get a pair for let's say fifty bucks at like Plato's Closet or whatever, and I find it for like fifty bucks, I right, I'll, I'll cop I'll it. Cop, yeah. But I wouldn't like go out my way to get it. You know? What nah, I mean, I'm gonna try. I mean, there's a few sneakers that I feel. You know? You know what's funny? A sneaker that I really want to wear again. What? The G Unit, the Rebuy. <laughs> <laughs> they're not gonna. Um, they're, not, they're not. But like those sneakers. I, I remember I had two, three pairs. I had the original ones uh, where they had like the red, white, and blue with the little gray yeah, 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 yeah. Those, and I also had like a blue and white version of them. My cousin had a pair of juniors, right, mm-hmm. back in the day. Uh, sophomore year, I mm-hmm. remember. He used to cut grass with those. 
So it was all it was all white shoe with some red letterings. Mm-hmm. You, cause it, like you, his favorite color is red. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I was like, he he used to cut grass in them. So I'll <laughs> clean them up and I'll wear them without him knowing. <laughs> I don't think he knows. I, and I don't know. He knows. Look, no, he doesn't. Oh. Even, he's not a sneakerhead though. He's oh, not a okay, sneakerhead. Okay. So like he's a normal ad- average person. Like yeah. you know what I mean? He he loves. It. He's a big hip hop person. Oh, okay. But um. Yeah, he never knew. I used to like wear them to school, and he would, like he only used it for uh, cutting. He was really like, "Yo, someone clean my shoes," and I'll stuff them because I like I knew like the basics to how to clean, clean shoes yeah, and how to like decrease at the time. Just like from like not even like back then, the internet wasn't even a real thing because mm-hmm. like I didn't know where to go. It was more so just learning it from people at school. School, yeah, you know what I mean. Right. So tell me, like, yo. Just- What's good, everybody? And uh, sorry, uh, we didn't know it was going to be a. The limit was sixty minutes. Yeah, We're talking 60. a lot. We'll we'll add a couple more minutes to this, and then uh, we'll we'll call it a, a end for this episode. But we we're talking about uh, you said G unit, right? G unit. How? How? Like I had the pairs. Uh-huh. I know you say you wore your cousin's pair. Yeah. He was cutting grass in them. Yeah. So my cousin will wear a pair of uh, Reebok G units. It was white and red lettering, mm. and uh, he will cut grass. I will clean them up, stuff them, clean them out, and just rock them at school on like dress down day and shit. You know what I mean? And like, you know, I went to a Catholic school. I didn't oh, want to get in trouble. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, didn't want to get in trouble because that's like nonstop the merits. You know what yeah. I mean? So that being said, uh, what you wanna call it? Uh, what do you think about this lady, right? That was on TikTok. She tried to return a pair of worn Hirachis to Foot Locker, right? And they were saying like. Uh, oh, like Foot Locker is wrong for this. Mind you, the toe cap was uh, it was, was gone, removed. bro. Yeah, exactly. I, I saw I saw you post it because, like, bro, she her daughter put them Harachis through hell, bro. exactly. And like, they already worn. They're like, like I said, I don't like I don't understand what she wanted back because she probably because the fact that it ripped a little bit on the toe cap i think that she wanted a refund that being said you have to go to nike for that. yeah yeah. remember nike because like, everybody has different yeah policies, policies. and stuff because what we were talking about earlier uh foot locker is a is a middleman middle yeah so you can't you can only return if it's used i mean if I it's mean, not, if it's if not if it's new, new. yeah brand if it's new, new yeah. my fault unworn <laughs> You know what I mean? So I was like, like, what can you, if you, anything, you go to Nike directly. You know what I mean? You talk to them. Uh, last topic will be, we're going to talk about is Nike is going to uh, increase their retail price for dunks. And dunk quality is doo-doo. It's doo-doo and fuck everybody that's on that fucking hype train, bro. Cause <laughs> know, and, 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 bro, they're not that bad. Like, I, I you know what, I, how I see dunks now, especially Panda dunks? I see them you as a basic air- bitch if you win <laughs> Panda Dunks. <laughs> Damn! Panda Dunks is the full of, like, the, the this Air generation on white, yeah. white Air Force One. Because they restock so many times. And they're reselling and still for like 300. Exactly, which I don't and understand. And the quality is paper. Which I don't understand, bro. I, I, and, and that's the thing, like, that's what I'm saying. There's people on that hype, on that hype wave that, like, are. Boosting up these cells. I mean, it is what it is. You know, what I mean, the, the younger generation will like what they like. You know, what I mean, we were remember we we were once their age. Don't get me wrong, I'll, I'm gonna poke my fun at it. <laughs> like I'm I mean, a, like yeah, but I bro, like I, I see, see twelve year olds, thirteen year olds, like mom buy me the six hundred dollar pair of sneaker because everybody's wearing it. Like bro, I would like at that age, I probably won't even like. You will see like a hundred dollars shoe. Hundred dollars shoe, like yo, let me grab that. You know I mean, exactly. And, nah, like. My mom still thinks I have a problem to this day. Oh, that's Every, my mom, bro. <laughs> like when I buy new shoes, like when I used to live with her, she she would like, what, what what did you bring in now? What did you bring in now? You know what I mean? But in Vietnamese, like those Heinekens, bro. I had those I had the box and everything. She threw out all my boxes. My Concord Eleven box, I remember that was gone. My like all my SB boxes from my old SBs gone. I'm like, yo, where the boxes? Go? Let's, let's let's talk about that real quick. Do you care about having the box or no? Yes and no. Okay. You see, because yeah, I, I see, the, I see like some, some of them have shoes in mm-hmm. there, like the one even behind you too, and like these are the only ones that don't have, like actually I don't have no room for it yet. But some of them do have shoes in there, down here as well. But like it's good to keep the box. But you see, I have sneak a uh, container, sneaker containers. Yeah, I was about to say. So this is where I'm like 50 50. I mean, I care about the box somewhat, because mm-hmm. uh, I've been seeing how people keep them in like. 
the shoe case that you got also hurt because there's no air ventilation going through them. The well, sneakers starting that? to, oh, did that yeah, start? like that. I the mean, sneakers won't, the sneakers won't get like that. How can I say it? Like that air just to like keep it like from uh, deteriorating uh, yeah. or something like that. Uh, keep it uh, ventilated. Ventilated, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's some uh, that has some other brands mm. I've seen that have like holes here on okay. the front or like holes on the side panel. But I only like I, I, people are like damn when I when I tell people when I'm on uh, TikTok live or whatever mm. and I tell them they ask me a question like yo where you get those blocks in my sneak container y'all gonna think I'm balling. I'm like, nah, nah bro. They cheap, bro. They, no, 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 they're not. Some six, are. Six for, uh, I got, there's six for 60 right now. Yeah, which is not a bad price. But some other box, you get like 10 for 40. Yeah, that's true, but they also the cheaper. Yeah, the cheaper. Listen, this, this is already cheap enough. Like, yeah. cheap material already. So, I get all mine on sale. <laughs> like, I don't buy Budget. them brand new, like, wait, like, full retail price. I buy them when they're on sale. When I get coupons, oh, I'm going to sneak a container. <laughs> bro, I bought three cases. So that's uh, 18, right? Right. The rest I had that you see were from a dude. I uh, One of my homies was selling his boxes, mm. and I bought them off of him for $5 a piece. Oh, that ain't bad. So he, I gave him 100 right? And he literally gave me over 30 Damn, that's not... So you think about five times 30, that should be 150 <laughs> But he only, I got him off for literally uh, 100 for, the, for the everything. He's like, yo, you take them all? Take, I'll give you 100 But I mean, uh, I'll sell it to you for 100 yeah. I'm like... Wait, what? Take Bet. It. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, bro, I literally just had like like half of this. So I stock it up higher with this and this and behind you. Because I, I was thinking about it because like mines are all in boxes just stacked up high. No, it's, it's dope I to have it like this, but got. it's easier to access when it comes yeah, to Yeah, I was about to say because I got 30 pairs just sky high. This is literally just for convenience. But, you know uh, what I mean? Yeah, because when I go through sneakers, mm-hmm. I have to like pull it out yeah. and all that shit collapse. Yeah, man. Yeah, so I, I understand that part. No, nah, but like, like, like the quality, it could be better. I wish it was cheaper, but you know, back then when before they were even a thing, like the those like influencers, they boosted it up, and of course, container stores noticing it, yeah, they just course, shot they it just up. Because cool. no one wanted it in early 2010. I didn't even want it. Mm-hmm. You know, I want it now only because you know I got my own place. So that being said, like, I'm able to like like make if I want to make content, like it's as a background. Yeah, you know what I mean, fact. which is dope. But, yeah, that's all we have for today, guys. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, thank you, bro. Thank Nesto you, bro. For letting, Appreciate uh, For coming through. You yes, know sir. what I mean? This ain't the last time either. We're gonna, <laughs> listen, I'm, we try, I'm trying to encourage this man to do this, like, a drinks champs type of thing. Yeah, but kids do. watch this shit. Kids. <laughs> kids, bro. <laughs> You know, I, all right, first of all, I, I, want, I, listen, I, 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 I want I want diapers uh, as as my uh, as my ad support. <laughs> Fucking charms. Uh, listen, I understand, bro, but these little kids are more wild than we were, bro. Yeah, so honestly, kids fuck them now, kids. yo, kids nowadays be throwing rocks at people. I used to fucking to try to play hip. Uh, was it hopscotch? <laughs> <laughs> Whole different ballgame, whole different. Whole like, different like that's, ball the, that's the thing with the younger generation when it comes to sneakers. They're they're different from how we were. We were more, let's be real, conservative because we grew up in the air area where like so, everything was more contained. What well, that too, but also the way how we grew up, because like coming from immigrant parents, yeah. the first thing that was on their mind was getting bills paid, a roof over your exactly. head, and food in your belly. Yeah, last if, thing we were out there think about was shoes. Shoes, yeah. So, and, and that's crazy. That's why I talk like my mom's now because she was like, yo, why are you always like getting sneakers what you want? I was like, because growing I up, I appreciated that we couldn't do that mm-hmm. and like I only got sneakers when we could yeah. versus now that like, yo, I could pay my shit. And, yeah. and worry about, uh, no, yeah. well, we could still also put, uh, buy some shoes on the side. Yeah, but yeah. Like, we can still provide, pay bills, and then, like, oh, you got an extra few hundred bucks. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm going to go cop some sneakers. Yeah. But that's all we have for today, folks. I appreciate this for listening for, well, yeah. Thank you for listening to episode five of Fresh Talks with uh, my guest, Nesto. Anything you want to say? You want to shout out your IG or anything? (laughs) I don't know, bro. Should I shout out my IG? Up to you, bro. Nah. Nah. All right. Well, Next time. Next next time. Next time. time. All right. Have a nice one. Stay safe. Deuces. Peace.